I've mastered the fake smile for y'all to come on. Anyway, it is my 333rd daily reading, and it's reading number 77 out of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. Simple Ways to Keep the Little Things from Taking Over Your Life by Richard Carlson, Ph.D. So that's 333 and 77. Whenever you get duplicate numbers like that, they seem to stand out to me because I see them so often, especially when it's in triplicate. So, take note of that. Okay. Acknowledge the totality of your being. I've had a migraine today, y'all. Started off with sinuses and quickly turned into migraine. But, I'm feeling good enough to read to you, so I'm reading to you. So here we go. Acknowledge the, totali the, acknowledge the totality of your being. Zorba the Greek was said to have described himself as the whole catastrophe. The truth is... We're all the whole catastrophe. Only we wish that we weren't. We deny the parts of ourselves that we deem unacceptable rather than accepting the fact that we're all less than perfect. One of the reasons it's important to accept all aspects of yourself is that it allows you to be easier on yourself, more compassionate. When you act or feel insecure, rather than pretending to be together, you can open to the truth and say to yourself, I'm feeling frightened and that's okay. If you're feeling a little jealous, greedy, or anger, rather than deny or bury your feelings, you can open to them which helps you move through them quickly and grow beyond them. When you no longer think of your negative feelings as a big deal or as something to fear, you will no longer be as frightened by them. When you open, when you open to the totality of your being, you no longer have to pretend that your life is perfect or even hope that it will be. Instead, you can accept yourself as you are right now. I was wondering why that was sticking out. It was in the wrong place. When you accept, no, I'm sorry. When you acknowledge the less than perfect parts of yourself, something magical begins to happen. Along with the negative, you'll also begin to notice the positive, the wonderful aspects of yourself that you may not have given yourself credit for, or perhaps even been aware of. You'll notice that while you may, at times, act with self-interest in mind, at other times you're incredibly selfless. Sometimes you may act insecure or frightened. But most often, you are courageous. While you can certainly get uptight, you can also be quite relaxed. Opening to the totality of your being is like saying to yourself, I may not be perfect, but I'm okay just the way I am. When negative characteristics arise, you can begin to recognize them as part of a bigger picture. Rather than judging and evaluating yourself simply because you're human, see if you can treat yourself with loving kindness and great acceptance. You may indeed be the whole catastrophe, the whole catastrophe, but you can relax about it. So are the rest of us.
I notice for myself, sometimes I get this rapid heart beating feeling or butterflies in my stomach out of nowhere. And because I'm very aware of my being, I recognize that's the feeling of anxiety. And when I notice it, then I stop and say to myself, you're experiencing anxiety. Why are you experiencing anxiety? Because oftentimes it just comes out of nowhere, totally unexpected. So then it brings me to that moment when I can stop and think, what is it that may be going on around me that would be causing me to feel this way? And once I have acknowledged it and come to understand where it's coming from, then I can quickly move past that feeling. And so it is with any feeling that you have. It's important not to suppress it or bury it, but to let it bubble up, bubble up like the bubbles in the soda to the top. And acknowledge them and recognize them so that you can look at them, understand them, and then decide to move on with them or move on past them. So, accept the totality of your being. I am sending out love, light, and healing energy ask that you pay it forward and pass it on and until next time peace later